Hi everyone, I'm Jesse. I'm the product specialist for Mod Devices, and today I'm here to demonstrate to you our new product, the Mod Dwarf. So, what is the Dwarf? Uh, the Mod Dwarf is a Stonebox, but not just any Stonebox. It's a standalone hardware plugin host. It's a device capable of running full virtual gear setups in the form of pedal boards, all standalone without any computer attached. So, how do we do that? The devices run plugins, and we use the LV2 plugin standard for that. We have about 300 plugins available right now and we are open to third-party developers, which can then offer their creations either for a cost or for free. Right now, most are available for free. So let's talk about a couple of device concepts. The Mod Dwarf always has one pedal board active, so one virtual gear setup loaded at a time. These pedal boards can be stored in banks for organization purposes, and the pedal boards can have snapshots created, and a snapshot stores the state of all the parameter settings of that pedal board. This allows you to quickly change between sounds. So uh, we can also have a quick look at the I.O. of the device. So we have a pair of independent audio inputs, independent audio outputs. We have USB to the computer. We have a USB host port. We have MIDI, headphone out, control chain, the full collection. When we look at the controller, we have LED peak meters, a display, three encoders, four push buttons, and three foot switches. Now let's power the device on and look in more depth. So I've just powered on the device. Um, let's have a look at the main operation modes of the Dwarf. So there's three main modes of operation. We have control mode, navigation mode, and tool mode. Uh, each of them provides access to different things, hands-on and hands-off. Let's start with control mode, where we have hands-free access to the foot switch assignments. We can page between the assignments as well. And we have hands-on access to the knob parameters. But before we go for that, let me introduce to you Gianfranco, our CEO, who will also be playing some guitar for us today. So let's take it away. I'll start tweaking while you play and let's give a little demo. There we go. That was control mode. Um, so as you could see, the leftmost foot switch, foot switch A, is used to paginate between all the controls, and the push buttons here are used to paginate between the encoder assignments on that given page. So the next mode we're going to have a look at is navigation mode, which allows you to access two core lists on the device, pedal boards and snapshots. And we activate it by pressing the two right foot switches to switch between control and navigation mode. Um, from here, we can switch pedal boards hands-free by using the right foot switch for the next one and the middle foot switch for the previous pedal board in the list. Let's give it a try. As you could see, while the LED was blinking, the pedal board was loading. And once the LED stops blinking, the pedal board is loaded. So let me just demonstrate it again. Voila. So from this screen, we can press the leftmost foot switch. Now we can switch between snapshots in the active pedal board. So the loading of snapshots is instantaneous. So um, at the same moment, you can press a foot switch and immediately change your entire sound to a state that you stored before. Um, then finally, we also have tool mode, which gives the users quick access to some often used tools, such as the tuner. Let's start with that, um, which is the, the most basic tool we have. From here, of course, we can mute the input while tuning. We can select the input with the other foot switch. And we also have some other tools and more are constantly in development. Right now, the other one we have is the tempo tool, which allows you to tap the tempo, uh, start a transport status. So for example, you can start uh, some internal sequencers with this or start playback of a backing track.
So that was the first video of the Mod Dwarf. There are many videos coming, so stay in tune. Thank you.